What's up guys? Right, today we are going to talk about sponsorships and I'm going to give you the top five tips on how to get sponsored and the best way about going about it, okay? And the first thing we're going to start with, I am going to show you how to call a company up and baffle them so easily, they're not going to be able to resist you. Right guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call one of my favourite bike shops right now and I'm going to see if they're going to send me out some product. Watch this, here we go, get ready guys, this is how to do it. Hi, yeah, I'm just calling. Um, just wanted to touch base with some sponsorship stuff, okay? Um, you know what, I've built up a really good social media and um, I feel really good on a BMX. And I wondered what you guys could do for me or if you could sponsor me and uh, send me some product out. I think I, I recognise you, don't I? That's... Is that um, you again, Ronnie? Ronnie um, I've yeah. I've told you a hundred times we don't have room for any riders of oh. your calibre at this point in time. Are, are, are you sure? Yeah, absolutely positive, mate. Like, oh. honestly, I'm sick and tired of telling you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry to bother you. Well, you sure. should be. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank I, you. I, all right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, 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 I'll call you back later. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, save yourself the bother, mate. We don't need any more riders. Thank you. No. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. 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 Well. That didn't go according to plan, guys. Um, I was expecting a little bit more than I was expecting to get a package at my front door tomorrow. But anyway, right, tip number one, I've got to let you guys know, <laughs> random calling these companies isn't gonna work, okay? It is something that everybody thinks is gonna work, but I can guarantee you, what just happened there will happen unless your name is David Beckham or Matt Hoffman, okay? Unless you've got those names or Tony Hawk, don't call a company like that, okay? Because it does not work and you get blown out and now look what's happened. They're not gonna sponsor me now. And I've uh, lost, blown my last chance with them filming this video, but I did it for you guys. What I did earlier is I took the liberty of contacting a few team managers and asking them kind of questions. What do they look for and what kind of tips they can give me for getting sponsored and what not to do, okay? So here we go. The first person I spoke to today was John Taylor and he is the UK team manager for Van Shoes, okay? If you guys want Van Shoes sent to your door, here's a few tips from John, okay? Here we go. Right, let me get my paperwork out. So after speaking to John, what he told me is, do not expect anything from BMX, okay? And that is fantastic. So what he means by that is, guys, BMX doesn't owe you anything, right? There's a lot of people out there and what we want to see out there and what these companies want to see and a lot of effort going into your BMX career. If that's what you want to do, you know, the more you guys do, you know, with your social medias, your Instagrams, your Instagram posts, you know, the edits you do, you know, and just kind of being a real cool personality or person in BMX and helping people, you know. If you're gonna go on trips, help load up the van. Everybody loves it when you jump in and help out, okay? You know, personally, me, I don't agree on it. You know, guys, you know what? <laughs> do what I do. Call them up and see what they do. Because that is the quickest way, <laughs> well, obviously not to get sponsored. But I like that option, okay, guys? I was into that, what I just did, and it blew me away, okay? John has been in the game for 20-something years, okay? He's been around the block. He's, he's rode for GT. He's rode for all these big companies. He's vans. He's been vans for years. I mean, we did a trip. 2003 was at an Oceanside in California together at a Vans contest. You know, John knows what he's talking about, guys, so I'm going to take all the things he says and I take them for two. Right, guys, tip number three, right? When you start getting a little bit good and, you know, companies start recognising you, you haven't always got to jump in and get free stuff right away, okay? Sometimes the best way to do this, okay, if you're going to approach a company, is say, hey, guys, you know, is there any chance of some discount for me to do some coverage for you, you know? I've got a great social media presence, I'd love your product. What can I do for you, for you guys to do something for me, okay? That is another great way to get your foot in the door with companies. Companies like to see you put the effort in and they're gonna reward you for putting that effort in and not jumping in straight away and just expecting stuff for free, okay? So that is tip number three, guys. See if they've got a discount program or an ambassador program where you can jump in with them and work with them and build up your relationship first. Tip number four, guys, okay? That is gonna be networking. 
networking is fantastic in our sport as it's quite a small sport and this goes for any sport as well in action sports you know even though some of the sports are bigger than others you still have a limited place of where these things go on and what events happen throughout the year so going to these events and meeting up with all the guys you know the athletes the tms you know um maybe sometimes the owners of the company especially in bmx you get a lot of the owners at these places and you know just just gradually putting yourself in the frame around all these people so they can get to know you you know that is another fantastic way i've always kind of gone to these contests and i've got along with everyone i've put up a great network of people now that even i don't get free stuff from i'll give them a call and it's just fantastic to have these people in your life and in the loop to take your career further Okay guys, tip five comes from Tom Creasy, who is the team manager for BMX and skateboard for Monster UK, okay? Right, Tom, yet again, has been in the scene for a long, long time, and he's now doing work with The Source. That is a skate park we went to for the Battle of Hastings. He is now the head of marketing at The Source, and he's still with Monster and doing things with them and helping them guys out as well. So he has got some great tips for us today, okay? Here's his tips. I'm gonna run through this list, okay? Cause he has done a great list for us and I don't wanna miss any points out, okay? This is fantastic. Do's, be cool. Ride your bike, go and support your events. We've already touched base on that one. Support your local scene. That is another one, guys. Always support that local scene cause that is where you started from. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna always end up back at that local scene at some point in your life. And right, it is one of the most important things he sits with here believe in the brands you support okay guys so that means don't go after any kind of willy-nilly companies here you know because they're going to offer you maybe a free ankle brace or something like that always believe in that brand okay doesn't matter what kind of product they do as long as you like that product and you can sell it correctly for them and you're both excited about being part of that brand and they're excited about having you that is going to work fantastic what tom crazy sits with on his don'ts are you ready guys is number one don't be over competitive okay with others okay guys no one wants to see that we want to see everyone get along okay the more you get along with people the more friendly you are the more approachable you are okay and that is great when it comes to sponsorship you want everybody to be able to come up to you and you want to be approachable but it doesn't matter if it's kids or adults that you're approachable so that you represent that brand in the best way possible and he sits with another one he says do not do not start a YouTube channel. Now, I don't know where he's coming from. Look, guys, I don't know if he's having a go at me on this one. It's fine, I can take it, because I know he watches it every single day, because he tells me, I get messages from him and everything. Tom Creasy loves my YouTube channel more than me, and I love it more than anything, right, guys? So anyway, the YouTube channel thing is, if you're into that sort of thing, then do it. Luckily for me, I've been in the sport for 15 years, so I know a lot of people, so I can kind of get away with this sort of stuff. Hopefully it's working out. But anyway, we all know that Creasy tunes in, okay? So Creasy, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. So guys, I called Ronnie Remo today. He is the owner of Total BMX and the team manager. He pretty much runs a whole operation there at Total BMX. And I thought I'd call him up, you know, to try and get some answers of, you know, do's and don'ts when it comes to sponsorship, okay? When I called him, what happened? He didn't pick up. Because I wanted to get an answer for him, what did I do? I kept calling till he picked up. I called him about four or five times and kept letting his phone ring. I kept it in that redial button and then he eventually picked up and guess what guys he had just finished a gym workout he was sweaty and we're still waiting for his answer to come over so i think i've upset him a little bit today and hopefully i'm still sponsored when i speak to him in the morning because uh if i'm not that means i'm buying bikes never deal with a sponsor or someone that is very influential as a company when you are drunk okay guys Back in Vegas a few years ago, my friend that is the founder of Ethical Underwear, he told me he was gonna send me some underwear. And because I was a little drunk, I said to him, Malcolm, do not do that. I love the Ethical Underwear. I love to buy it. And what happened? I'm still buying Ethical Underwear. <laughs> what we learned there is, don't try to negotiate any kind of deals. I was done a bit of partying because I right now could have had packages and packages of Ethical Underwear at my house. And I blew it because I had a Jack and Coke times about four or five and now I don't get them and it costs me money every time I need underwear. But anyway, guys, they are some pointers for some of the best people in the business, okay? Monster, Vans. I've been in the game now for 15 years, okay? I think my first sponsor I got when I was 15 years old. I've been all around the world and there's some really top points right there, guys, to listen to. And guys, you ain't got to follow this. Sometimes you've got to do your own thing out there. But you know what? 
sometimes it's nice to hear some good guidelines. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you guys all get sponsored or fulfill your dreams on what you're looking for and doing in life. And I will see you on the next episode.